Hello everyone, uh, my name is Robert Ho. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to navigate uh, the CITP 3312 Fundamental of Security. Uh, we are in section V01 for spring 2019. Okay. As soon as you log in to the blackboard, please view on the left hand panel okay you have start here and the course content okay i already make i already made a video recording for the start here in the previous video so if you haven't watched that please uh watch uh please view my uh student orientation uh videos about that Today, I will focus on how you navigate the course, okay, especially in the week one, okay. The way I organize the course is by weekly activities. As you can see that we have week one activities, week two's activities, and week three's activities, okay. So, week one activities consist of chapter one, security overview, and week two consists of chapter two, security basic and week three chapter three policies procedure and awareness okay and then we're going to go all the way through until week number 15 or 16 okay all right for week one okay, week one assignment okay uh the the objective of this chapter one or week number one is student will learn about the basic information security overviews okay after the student learn the materials and concept about basic security overview then you will continue with the simulator okay in the simulator you are going to install and configure a network security appliance okay so that is the two activities that you will do okay first we went we will learn about security overview or security basics and after we learn this the next step is to do a lab simulator okay i will show you how to do all of this in a momentarily okay so let's go to the learning activities number one okay uh okay by the way before you do all the step before we do all the learning activities can you please introduce yourself to the class okay uh so we can get to know each other a little bit okay uh please introduce yourself maybe your full names okay and what is your intended occupation maybe after graduation after graduating from the bad program some of you maybe want to specialize in the programmings others may specialize in the networking or voice over ip and a few of you probably want to go to information security specialization so so i can get to know a little bit about uh what's it's what is your goals and the objective uh, or if you don't have any goals you can just state whichever you think is appropriate to share to all of us okay uh all right so week number one we're going to go to uh, testout.com okay testout.com if you don't know how to do if you haven't purchased this lab sim please purchase this material i believe it costs 129 dollars so purchase this material as soon as possible so we can start on the assignment okay uh, the information about how to purchase the test out is in my student orientation video all right so objective one overview okay uh let's go to the test out lab sim here okay chapter one consists of introduction okay 
We have several activities, security landscape, video security concept, and then we have some handout or like a, a cheat sheet, something like that, and then the practice questions. Okay, Students need to do all the practice questions because this is the way that we test the student whether they understand the concept, whether they understand the concept or material that we have learned previously. Okay, and at the end of the semester, I will put all of this practice question review as a review grades. Okay, as soon as the student finishes the security overviews, we need to move on to the simulator. Okay. We have a video how to use a uh, simulator, so I want you to click this one, okay? And this video will show you how to do, how to work on the simulators. Okay, coming back to here, let's go to the security overview. Click this. We have a security landscape video. Please watch this, maybe watch this video. It may take about 10 minutes. Then you go to the next one. Uh, the security concept. After you finish the security concept video, then we have some handout. Okay, some handout. So I would I would suggest that the student print this uh, handout so you can review and understand it. I will make a video lecture about this handout in another set. Okay, which is the second video after this one okay. after you finish that the next one is to do practice questions okay uh, student is student need to pass at least with 80 percent okay 80 percent is the passing score so student need to pass this practice question with at least 80 percent if they only get like 50 you may need to review again yeah. So after you finish that review questions, okay, you will see a check mark there. The next item that we need to do is using simulator. Okay. Again, as I mentioned to you before, this is how this video show you how to do the lab simulators. Okay, using simulator. Demo using simulator. Let me click this video so you can at least have some idea how it works. Okay. That is the demo. Okay. So that is uh, show you how to do the demo. And the next activities that we are going to do is to configure security appliances and to install this. Okay and to install the security appliances uh, let's let me give you an example how to work on the simulator i'm going to start the lab i'm going to start the lab okay okay on the left hand panel it show you the scenario okay so for example you are the IT administrator for a small corporate network. You have already configured the network security appliance with a setting necessary to connect to the internet. And today you will install the NSA or set up the NSA. Okay. And the task, how to do the task is show you. The instruction is located here at the bottom. Okay. If you scroll it down, it will show you how to complete the task. Okay. Okay, uh, notice that you also see an exhibit there, okay? Let's click this exhibit. Okay. This is the big pictures, okay? So the goals of this uh, lab is to install the NSA. NSA and the corporate router are installed in the H router, okay? In the H router. So, notice that on the NSA, you have two IP address. The WAN IP address is facing toward the internet, and the LAN IP address is facing to the internal network. Okay. So, you need to connect this router 
you need to connect the NSA to the router using the LAN port of the NSA connect to the WAN port of the routers. Also, the NSA WAN port will connect to the internet, which is the wall plate. Let me show you how it is, how it works here. I'm going to click this one uh, and then click the corporate corporate server. Okay. No, I don't think that one. Okay. Uh, here, floor one. Uh, hardware. Hardware is. Yes. Hardware. Okay. Here. This is floor number one, building A. Is this building B or building B? Let me see. Let me reset this. So. Okay. So this is the closet, right? This is the closet for floor one, floor one in the basement. Okay. So the exhibit is here, right? This is the exhibit. So this is the exhibit, okay? We are going to install this NSA, okay? How you do that? We need to read the instruction on the left-hand panel, okay? Let me give you the first example. We are going to choose the security appliances over there. Okay, and then you need to put it in the back and choose the cable okay you need to choose this cable the power cable the female connect this male connector to the ups okay that's how okay. and then we need to connect this one to the wan port you, you can make this uh, workspace a little bit larger so you can see so you're you going to magnify this Make it larger and connect this WAN port over there. Connect this one over there. And then we will connect this to the WAN port. This is the WAN port. You need to connect another one, the LAN port, this cable to the LAN port, right? You need to connect another table to this LAN port and you need to hook that up with the web port of the of the router here let me show you this is the web port so the LAN port of the NSA will connect to the web port of the router again if you get confused you can always see here okay the one that is facing to the internet is going to be in the WAN IP address right and the and the ip address the local ip address is going to face to the router connect to the router all right so hopefully that this uh, video tutorial is informative to you and if you have any question please feel free to email me or and call me and i will answer you within 24 to 48 hours thank you